With all this talk about the Google Cyber Cert, I couldn't help but look into it myself. With it resembling something similar to a CompTIA primer, I figured a refresher couldn't possibly hurt. So on today's episodes of Cyber Studies, we're gonna get into whether or not this course is worth taking and how to do it for free. Let's go. So December 14th, 2009 will go down as a day that Google was hacked by a foreign government. Operation Aurora revolutionized Google's perception and importance on security, and they haven't slowed down since. With the acquisition of VirusTotal in 2012 and Mandiant just last year, it's kind of obvious that Google's taking an aggressive stance on cybersecurity. Google partnered with CompTIA and Coursera to put together this cool career-like springboard, jumping into numerous information security topics. Uh, one thing that made this course a little bit more unique uh, was its hands-on experience, live discussion boards, and just all the Google security professionals in this low-cost course. I thought it was really unique and interesting that Google did a portfolio. So once you're doing the coursework itself, it's typically lecture-driven, you do have some reading materials, and there's actually some hands-on exercise, like putting together a GitHub repo, um, a resume, and then you know some other cool little security exercises that when you go to talk to an employer, hopefully this is not the first time you're discussing it. So you're probably asking yourself, who is this course? for and, and at the risk of sounding like a politician I'm gonna say either the individual who's at day zero in their cybersecurity career or someone who's been in for like a hot minute so day zero being like you don't have any certifications you don't have a job in the field uh, you're just getting into it this is a brilliant beautiful icebreaker the production value is high the note taking is great if you're going for your security plus it's like 80 percent of the exam is covered into this and i think you can get away with like 50 bucks uh for one month of taking the coursera you know track you're really you know busting you can get it done in a month and you know it's really good roi compared to other trainings for the security plus now there's also the other side of the spectrum where if you've already been in your career for a minute uh, you, you hold other certifications, but you've just been doing like your daily grind. This was a really nice refresher in like re-upping on some of those not so often, but still important uh, topics in security. Now, <laughs> I get a little flack for this. If you already have certifications, but you do not work in cybersecurity, I would not recommend this course. And the reason why is because the, the content is very broad. Uh, it, it does cover the things in Security Plus, but if you already have the certification. Uh, if you don't have a job in cybersecurity, I feel like your, your time and, and money is spent better by going for another industry recognized certification. I mean, the Microsoft certs are like less than 200 bucks. And if you're in some different, you know, next of the woods, it can actually be free um, so I found some perceived value in this I'm a, a I hold multiple certifications myself I've been doing my job for over three years and I found a lot of value in this uh, it's just it's hundred and thirty hours like it, it's a large time commitment and if you could be doing other things to move you closer to your security goals I think you should now, I did mention at the very beginning of this video how you can take this course for free, and that was not clickbait. Uh, I paid zero American dollars to do this bad boy, and it was all done through about a month's worth of time. The way I did it was through the financial aid portion, and I didn't even get approved. What happens is you basically create your account, you navigate through the course that you wanna take, you select the apply for financial aid, and fill the application out. Now, whether you get approved or not is completely irrelevant, because what happens is you're able to go through and audit the course course and it's, it's literally like taking the entire course minus the final exam the weekly challenge um, at the end of those courses you have eight courses to complete and this is allowing you the time to take your notes learn the material poke through the exercises all the things that you would get out of the course minus that final exam at the very end. So you would basically go through, do all eight courses at about 90%, you, you have them all except for those final exams, and then you start your seven day trial, right? <laughs> now, mind you, if you were a real go-getter, you can just take this whole thing in seven days if you had you know, plenty of time to spare and you, you were just able to crank through the topics and you were just really good at remembering stuff. But for me, this allowed me to go at a nice steady pace. I was able to take good notes and you know complete it from there. Now, if they do change this down the road to where if you were to restart um, the course by you know 
starting your seven day trial and it starts the whole thing over, you already have your notes anyway. So you can just click through them and then take those exams. Regardless, you can save yourself about 50 bucks uh, by doing this in one month. While we're on the topic of perceived value, you may also enjoy this video right here where I go over 21 cybersecurity content creators that I personally enjoy. Thank you very much and have a good one.